Hey guys, quick review on the XTAR WP2H charger. I've had this thing for um, Black Friday, so it's been probably about three months now. And this is a lithium ion charger that's kind of unusual. It has a nice little feature to it that makes it uh, stand out from the rest of the pack. And that it can charge the 4.3 volt 18650 batteries. It has a voltage selector on the side here. Whoops. And it allows you to pick between the voltage for the uh, the lithium iron batteries, which are 3.2, the regular uh, 3.6 volts, and the 3.8 volts, which in the end they end up being 4.35 volts. Um, but it gives you that capability. It uh, uses the standard kind of spring-loaded gate to charge. As you can see, the light goes from green to red when it's in there. These are some uh, unprotected uh, Samsung high drains. And another feature this does have is it lets you select the voltage. And it has basically a uh, 0.25 amp, half an amp, and a 1 amp charging voltage. And you can select between them. This is particularly useful if you have batteries that were maybe drained really hard. You know, that way you can let them charge slowly. You know if you're worried about them or you can just slap them up and do the whole amp if you want to. I mean I know the 18650s you're really not supposed to charge them at an amp because it does shorten their uh, life but you got that option if you are in a hurry or you're in a rush. The uh, outlet cable is a, uh, it's a 12 volt just plugs in normally and also has a USB output so you can use this kind of like a uh, battery bank as well. It's, as you can see, it's a very simple charger. It just has a red light, and when the uh, battery is done, it will turn blue. Very simple. Of course, I get complaints, guys. I don't film commercials, unfortunately. So there are some complaints with this thing. Number one being that mine undercharges. I've read a lot of reviews online, and this isn't the case with all of them. Some of them charge up perfectly, but this does have a tendency to leave the batteries at like 4.16, 4.18 volts, and it does have a tendency to do that. So I did want to point that out. Will that happen with yours? Maybe, maybe not. You know, mine might just be in luck of the draw. Number two, it takes forever to charge batteries in this thing. Even at the one amp setting, it still takes like four hours to fully charge a battery. And these aren't even fully drained batteries. So, for whatever reason, I think, and I don't fully understand all the electronics, but I know these charge with different modes. They use a constant current or a constant voltage, and it switches between them based on where it is in the charging of the battery. And, <coughs> excuse me, and for some reason, I think maybe it switches modes towards the end, and that last little bit seems to take forever. It's like I pull these, and I look at them, and they're like 4.12, and I come back like 45 minutes later and they're like 4.14. You know, so for some reason this thing just takes forever. I'm not sure if it's just slow topping them up off the end. I don't understand electronics enough, but this is not a rapid charger. It is not quick. Even though you have that one amp option, it, you know, I often will find myself charging the batteries for the first couple hours on this and then switching them to another charger because they actually finish off quicker on another charger, which is kind of odd. And another thing I found is this light has gone blue before they're fully charged. I've had it go blue and it's been like 3.8 volts. And which is, guys, that's one reason why it's very important to always check your batteries, because if you are putting that into a two cell flashlight, you could cause a, uh, a fire and explosion having a, a, a half filled battery with a full battery. So, not the best charger on the market, guys. And I know it gets a lot of good reviews online, but mine here, mine obviously has some issues. Do I use it? Yes, I use it all the time. Because like I said, it does have that one amp charging and it does really good in the initial stages of getting that thing from 3.6 to 4 volts, but 9 tenths out of 10, I switched over to my night core charger because even though it's slower, it charges faster. So, you know, I don't know what to say. I don't know enough about the electronics. I just know if this is something you're interested in, don't get it 
because it's a cheap and expensive charger. I mean, I bought this because I actually have use for the 3.8 volt charging. I have about eight 18650 batteries that do charge up to 4.35 volts. So I do need it to fully charge those batteries. But aside from that, I really don't use this a ton because like I said, the accuracy on it is weird, the consistency is weird, and that slow charging at the end, it's all kind of weird, wacky to me. So I do tend to avoid using this one, except for the uh, 4.35s, which are just a handful of my Samsungs that I had, which I bought not even realizing they were 4.35s, so I ended up having to buy this after the fact, but there's better chargers out there, guys, and I only paid maybe like 14 or 15 bucks for this thing. It was not expensive at all, but still, you know, it is one of the only chargers that does the 4.35 volt batteries, so I guess you're kind of stuck, and it is a bit of a necessary evil, because it will let you, uh, top them off to the end, but it obviously needs some work.